What's going on, guys? Now, the Slammies, I'll just get these out of the way. Just my thoughts. My thoughts on the Slammies. Um, I've accepted and just dealt with the fact that the, the Slammies are meant to make the show comical. You know, more comedic-like. And uh, I don't take these categories serious. You know, Daniel Bryan won Superstar of the Year. That's awesome, you know. It, it, he's my favorite wrestler, you know, it is what it is, but it's not like it really makes a difference who wins what award. The Bellas won the Diva of the Year award. Does that make a difference? Fuck no, it doesn't. So, you know, these awards are what they are. This video, though, is intended to be positive because I had fun watching the main event segment. Um, I haven't even finished watching all of Raw because... Does it really matter? <laughs> all I'm really going to talk about is the main event segment anyways. Um... Really quickly, as soon as I saw everybody in the ring, I was like, okay, shit's going down. I'm going to kick back and enjoy the hell out of this. Now, anytime you have a big crowd in the ring, you know that either A, a fight's going to break out, and these guys are going to split up into two groups of people, separating one guy and the other one separating the other guy. Or B, there's just going to be a whole lot of you know ass-kicking within everybody in the ring, and it's going to literally, literally be a battle royale, a pure six brawl, if you will as uh, Jericho would say. Tonight we got C. Both of those things happened, and that was awesome. You had all those former champions in there, um, and I'll get to the, the exchange that they all, all, some of them have with each other towards the end. Um, now, as far as the promo goes, Cena, I was really looking forward to see what Cena was going to do, because I was, I was thoroughly pleased with his promo last week. I was looking forward to see if he would top that, not be as good as last week, or stay in the middle. I think he definitely topped that this week. Um, and uh, that says a lot because I really liked the promo from last week. Orton, um, yeah, like his, he had a very solid promo. I think for his, his gimmick and, you know, the guy he is in this match and the role he's playing in this match, it was actually really good. Delivery, you know, it is what it is. But I, I give him a pass on that just because... Given what happened, and he worked with the uh, the guys that were in the ring. He made examples out of them. He he really made me believe like he felt that way. So I'll, I'll give him the pass on that. Um, the problem with this, though, is that, and I hate to say the problem because people are probably thinking, oh, he's going to shit on this. And for me, tr trust me, this is just, I'm looking for, a, from a fan's perspective, I'm okay with this. But if I'm looking at it from their perspective, the money side, it sucks for them because they put so much effort into these past two weeks, which again, for me, is great because it's not costing me a dime out of my pocket. But for them, why didn't they tease this match weeks ago, you know, so that week after week after week after week, we get to the last two weeks that are so good, then at this point you're like, you're just begging for this match. Or at least more looking forward to it because, yeah, there's still a lot of people, I would assume, are pissed that this match is happening between these two guys, but at least it would be looked upon more positively. So from their aspect, they're dumb that they waited this long to really put some effort into this feud. With that being said, though, tonight, as again, as a fan, for me, this was great. Uh, the promo ended up coming out great together. Now, at the end, the exchanges we had, you had, uh, who was the first guy? Okay, so C or Orton gave the jabs to Cena. They got him split up. Uh, Orton started beating up on, uh, or he, he uh, sucker punched, or did he push? Or, no, yeah, he shoved Punk's by his face. Uh, and then uh, Punk, of course, because he ain't going to take anyone's shit. He's going to go in there and beat the hell out of him. Uh, by the way, I like the fact that he was, I think, the only guy not in a suit other than Daniel Bryan. Um, well, and of course, Cena and Orton, but the guys in the back, I think is the only former champion that was not in the suit other than Daniel Bryan, but at least Daniel Bryan looked respectable. Punk looked like he was fucking going to 7-Eleven, but anyways, he goes in there, he exchanges with Orton, and then, this is where it starts to get interesting, then we have Triple H go in there, get him out of the way, or he pushed, I think he pushed Punk down, yeah, he pushed him down, and then Punk, of course, again, not going to take anyone's shit. He gets in there, he, you know, he has a little exchange. I think he just punched Triple H down. And then what came after that? Oh, yeah, and then Shawn Michaels gave CM Punk a super kick, which was, like, just a sight. Just because, to my knowledge, those guys never had a match. So, you know, it's kind, it's kind of cool. Not, like, cool, cool, but uh, it was just like, oh, so that's what CM Punk looks like getting super kicked. Um, and then... Daniel Bryan came in there and gave him the, uh, the running knee. I forgot what the name of that move is, but I know someone will comment on it, so that is what it is. Now, this CM Punk, or not this CM Punk, this uh, Daniel Bryan-Shawn Michaels match, 
I don't know. Uh, you know, I just I'm pretty much done with Twitter, at least for the time being. I don't know what the consensus are. I don't know if people want to see this match still after this whole ruhaha that happened at Hell in the Cell and the night after Hell in the Cell and after tonight. But if you do, why do you really want to see Shawn Michaels back in the ring? Let the guy have his moment. He had the perfect send-off. He doesn't have to win to have a perfect send-off, people. Like, having a match with The Undertaker, the caliber, they main event of the damn show. Do I really need to remind you guys how big that match was? How great the build was? It was just awesome. Like, you don't need to go back in there and have a teacher versus student match or, or this will make up for Daniel Bryan losing the WWE title. No, 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 no. Forget that. There's other ways it can help Daniel Bryan. Brian regained some of that, you know, legitimacy uh, above the, uh, the the, uh, the smart fans' view. They don't need to bring Shawn Michaels back and just let him be and stay retired. That being said, CM Punk and Triple H being a potential WrestleMania match, we've seen that match before. Given the match had a stupid finish because of the uh, Miz and R Truth. Uh, in, uh, interference and blah blah blah. But up until that, how good was that match really? I mean, I remember it was a street fight. I think it was or a no disqualification or no holds barred match, whatever the official name of that match was. I don't know. I I still rather see Triple H lose to Daniel Bryan. And yes, I emphasis on lose. Um, I think that just does a lot more. Not only is it more logical, but it accomplishes a lot more than CM Punk versus Triple H. That's just me. I'm sorry, but I'm sticking to that. Um, so if we do get that match, though, I won't necessarily complain. It's just, you gotta wonder, does Punk even have a chance of winning that match? <laughs> so, um, what else? I think that was it as far as that, before I get to Cena Orton. Oh, yeah, and I could not help but laugh how CM Punk, is CM Punk's facial expressions every time they were chanting, yes, yes. And by the way, now that I remember about that, leave it to Triple H to try and bury, you know, uh, Daniel Bryan's chant. I expected him to throw a cheap shot, but man, like, he really just, like, he looks so pissed. Like, he did not like that chant. And then, um, of course, he has to be the one that, like, kind of really slammed Daniel Bryan down. You know, part of that had to be real aggression from him being sober in his freaking hometown. Because, you know, with WWE, if they go to your hometown, you got to be embarrassed. Just ask JR. All right, now for Cena Orton. Again, this match did everything it could at or this build at this point. I just wish they would have done this for their sake. Again, I'm not knocking it because, hey, it's not going to cost me any pay-per-view buys, but it will them. Um, done this a lot sooner but or a long time ago, but um, yeah. Uh, this was a good, a very strong outing uh, for their, for their pay-per-view. Does it help the pay-per-view? No. I don't care what anyone says. The pay-per-view is more than one match. The, the, uh, the match can define a pay-per-view, but it's also a more all-around. If you're going to pay $55 for just one match, okay, that more power to you, but I myself am a pay-per-view buyer. I buy for at least more than one match. That's just me. Uh, those are just my thoughts. Leave your guys' thoughts down below, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching.